Saw something interesting on Quabina's desk, so we're going to go over and take a look right now. Looks like it's a prototype of the CMU Cam 4. Is Kevin working on Wi Fi? <laughs> Jessica? Okay, show me this demo. Check it out. It's, uh, this is the CMU Cam 4's thresholding feature. That's the little device right there. And I can't really see it that well. But, you know, we're looking around at it. You can see it thresholding the image and finding all the pixels to track and such. You can see Ken there, and you can see my face. There's a hand. <laughs> and here's a uh, KitKat bar. Yeah. So the trick is you actually have to set the values more correctly. Right now I just gave it a huge range to set to search for, so it's not really uh, finding a particular value. But um, you can more intelligently give it a number to track, and then it'll only highlight those areas of color instead of everything. Uh, but... I don't have any debugging feature to check that out, so I just wanted to see if it worked right now, which it does. So a little more about the hardware. What? Um, what all is on the board? Um, so we have a prop chip. Um, there is a Omnivision 9665 nine, 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 uh, camera, I think. Uh, 5 megahertz crystal, so we're going to 80 megahertz right now. we got an SD card connector, some EEPROM, and a voltage regulator. And that's really it. Uh, literally, the camera is just directly connected to the prop chip. No handshaking, no just like IOs directly to each other. And the not form directly. factor? Form factor. This is the size of our Arduino Pro. Um, not sure what that is. It's pretty small, though, as you can see. Uh, what would that be? Open source design? Yeah, open source, open source. So the whole thing. Um, software is going to be available for download. And same thing for the hardware. Of course, you'll have to figure out where to get the cameras from. <laughs> and are you going to be able to finish this before you go away? Yeah, yeah. Um, we should have about 90% of the software completed by the time I leave in the next three weeks. Um, the trick is um, documentation and, and debugging it and adding like little tidbits of features that need to be put in cool. um, for all extra stuff. But most of the bulk of it should be done by the time I go back to Carnegie Mellon. Thanks, Kwabana. Hey, don't post that on the web.